hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to use a second approach to prove that positive one equals to negative one okay so without wasting much time let's get started so in order to prove that positive one equals to negative one let's play around this one here okay let's concentrate on this one we know 41 minus 40 equals to 61 minus 60 okay 41 minus 40 is 1 and 61 minus 60 is 1 okay so this is 1 equals to 1 nothing has changed it's still the same thing okay now let's move further 41 on its own is simply 16 plus 25 minus 14 equals to okay 61 on its own is simply 36 plus 25 minus 60 okay so 16 plus 25 minus 40 is equals to 1 and 36 plus 25 minus 60 equals to 1 this is 1 equals to 1 nothing has changed since we are working on this one okay now 16 on its own is 4 squared and 25 on its own is 5 squared so we have 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 40 equals to 36 is 6 squared and 25 is 5 squared minus 60 okay let's proceed further we can go ahead and write 4 squared plus 5 squared minus instead of 40 we can write 2 times 4 times 5 okay 2 times 4 times 5 is 40 equals to 6 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 6 times 5 okay 6 times 5 is 30 and 30 times 2 equals to 60 okay so at this stage nothing has really changed okay if you simplify this you're gonna get 1 and if you do the whole of this simplify it you're gonna get 1 so this is 1 equals to 1 nothing has changed okay so let's make use of this identity x minus y all squared equals to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy okay so this is a known identity and let's apply that here all right so if we go with this identity you're gonna have 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 is the same thing as writing 4 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 okay and this is equals to 6 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 6 times 5 is the same as writing 6 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 okay so 4 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 equals to 6 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 okay so let's proceed on this other side of the board okay so we have 4 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 equals to 6 minus 5 raised to the power of 2 okay if we take the square root of both sides okay this will cancel this square and this will cancel this squared okay so we are left with 4 minus 5 equals to 6 minus 5 okay then 4 minus 5 is negative 1 equals to and 6 minus 5 is 1 okay so we have been able to prove that negative 1 equals to 1 and 1 is equals to negative 1 okay qed right but if you think that the approach is wrong kindly leave a comment on the comment box and i will reply to you all thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on videos like this bye